All right, we're just gonna do the jewelry in the car because the car's air conditioned and it's been raining off and on. And the table where I shoot the, uh, everything would probably be wet. And uh, yeah, that's about it, right? Uh, what did we spend today? $173. We only went to two sales, but they were estate sales. And you know how estate sales are. Everything's expensive. In fact, um, while we were there, you know, estate sales are so weird because they don't price anything, right? So normally, if you see stuff in a case, you expect stuff to be kind of expensive, right? Yeah. But when you see stuff kind of spread out on a table, upstairs with nobody really watching it. it. Yeah, in a third bedroom with one older lady watching and it. And she's not really watching it. She's getting up and, and going to the, the bathroom or whatever. spread she... out. Yeah. And no, she left the room for like 10 minutes while I was the in room. there. She actually left the room, yeah. Jenny was telling me that they had a sign up that said uh, that they had video cameras going on. Yeah, so, whatever. Who cares? Which I don't not believe. Stuff, they, but I don't still, believe either, but... Professional thieves know how to get around. You know what? If I had an estate sale, I would invest in showcases. You know, then you keep the jewelry downstairs in front of you by the door wherever you can see whatever instead of a table upstairs well jenny also said the one other time she went one of these ladies sales she only let one person at a time look at the jewelry i would go insane i'd be uh, i'd be back tomorrow you know because <laughs> but then the thing is right what, what i was going to say is that so it's all spread out on a table you really have no clue then you have to pick what you want and go downstairs right and say well, and then what, ask how much it is and then when you ask how much it is it could be anywhere from like 10 to like a hundred dollars well, well what the thing is is when they have it on a table and it's all like mishmash together yeah. it's not you're untangling separated. stuff it, no no they, they were neater than that no you but asked me to untangle something oh yeah you did yeah sorry but it, it wasn't um like separated by silver or costume how about by price 10 20 30 yeah, 40 it was just you know? a table full of rando of yeah um, so you I, actually did bring stuff downstairs. I, got, I only bought three pieces. From right, them, and how many did you pieces. take before you went down? Oh, I went down there with at least ten pieces. Ten pieces, right? So you wind up with but just the three. the prices were after, yeah, you showed standing, like a, after standing online for twenty a half minutes an online, hour, one person pricing because again. they only had one person pricing. And I mean, they could price a stupid guy. Like they were going to help me with the CDs because I bought CDs well, and the I'll CDs go through those were really a buck quick. A piece. Right, and, and that's, that's why. But I asked before. Because when I'm on a state sale, if they tell me CDs are two dollars, I ain't buying CDs. Yeah, but and then she even questioned it when you told. When her I get that there, the she goes like, the guy go. She's like, you told them a dollar on the CDs, and I'm like, and I said, yes. That's why I spent about a half an hour looking through the CDs, and then I got online for another twenty minutes. Yeah. You know, it's like, don't be twitching it up on me now. If you tell me two dollars before, I'm like, okay, see you, thank you, you know, and I'll yeah. go somewhere else. But like whatever, so so she did that, and that's that also is probably like, well, I ain't giving you a discount. Yeah, I don't care if you're getting like seventy CDs or something. Well, these but, are the three pieces that yeah. I got from one, two, three. Yeah. And how much did you spend for these three pieces? Sixty. 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 Yeah. Sixty bucks. I kind of overpaid, but. Well, you overpaid. I think... You didn't overpay. You just paid more than you like to pay. Yeah. Because now we have no other option but to put most of this stuff on. Yeah, eBay. I could never sell. We could never flea sell out of flea market. They will want to pay less than we actually pay for this stuff. Um, what's this? this? Why did you buy that? I bought it because I believe these are opal. This is faceted, this stone, but we don't know what I it is. I don't know what this stone is. Yeah. But these up here look like opal. And they're nice. And it's a nice long chain. No but hallmarks. There's, but there's right. no clasp, so there's right. no hallmark. And nothing. I checked all over. There's nothing. Right, nothing to say. But what did you actually pay for that? I paid fifteen. Okay, fifteen. I got. I don't know what I can get for it, but you know, uh, I mean, it's, put it on eBay. Who cares? Just yeah. stick it on eBay. Pull the picture. Now, this, what did I you pay for this? Ten, I think. Now, and the oddest thing is that this is the best thing you bought. Yeah. Out of the three is, pieces. Um, that says SC. SG. SG make that. It's Sergio Gutierrez. That's right. That's what you said. Sergio and Gutierrez. And they call it liquid metal. Right. And it's not silver. It's not silver. It's probably like a stainless Chrome metal, or yeah, something. something like that. Um, but I checked, and his bracelets go anywhere from fifty to hundred bucks. Right. On eBay. So what did you pay for this one? This one I paid ten. Ten. So this one is fifty to a hundred. Because she doesn't know who this person. is. You know is. what? We're just putting it at a hundred and or or more, depending on what we yeah. find. But it's a hundred, and then that pays for for this, and we're in, we're in the very small profit zone. This is a Greek key design. Very it's nice. Nine two five. No maker, just it's nine two five. It's a choker, yeah. Choker this length. This is what I I paid thirty five for this. Probably because of the silver content. Now you checked and what do you believe you can get for this online? 
I've seen some of them sell 70. as low as thirty dollars. No, but, but screw that crap. I know. Buy it but now. then about sixty, so I'm gonna put it on for seventy five. Seventy five, and that's it. That's as low. Well, as we'll see. I'll see. I'll look it up better. All right. Okay. Then at the other this state other sale, sale and you have, she's holding one more piece in her hand. What did you pay for everything? I paid. You're the only one that bought uh, anything. Forty bucks. Forty right? yeah. for all this. So uh, that means I spent like a hundred dollars today. Yeah, you spent a hundred. I spent yeah. seventy four. Um, so. You bought That's this? a piece of jade. Right. And it's probably part of a necklace or something. But I like the design. That sunburst design. You know she center. didn't charge you much for this, no. right? Uh, well, I bucks. got one, two, three, four, five necklaces. Look, at, look what my mechanic did to my car. If you don't... Don't worry Every about Every time that. I look at that, it pisses me off. What do you care? The rest of the car looks like crap. But that's sloppy. Shh, shh, you know how much... Okay. I paid him hundreds of dollars you to do that. You know what? I, I really would like to go in the house. Okay, Can we just here. do this? So this... It's jade. I like this piece in the center, and it could be made into a nice necklace because yeah, it has do, openings at the do top. Something. Okay, then there's this necklace this, with all the hearts. This necklace um, with all the heart dangles on it. I really like that. Do you know who made it? Um, it's um, um, I can't read it. Wait. Uh, H J C. Wait. Hold New York. On. Do this one next because this one is Monet Horizon said. Jewelry Company. Horizon Jewelry Company, not Verizon. New York. Horizon, Horizon Jewelry Company. New but York. no information like, on that, or no. Okay, we got to check this one. Yeah, for the I price. check it up. But, but it's, it's actually really cool. It's really Look at cool, that. like a charm. Yeah, necklace. this is new stuff that. Oh, oh, there you go. This is new stuff that people like. I, I already filmed it, so yeah. everybody can see what it is. Okay. It's pretty cool. And these other ones, I just like they're different. Right, there's not Hallmark, not signed, no. faux turquoise, and a well, fur this is tortoise like shell plastic. plastic. Yeah, but sometimes for the summer months, that's Keep better. Smacking my camera. Um, that. Shh. It's not too heavy. Yes. You know, and if you have metal allergies, the plastic is better. No, this, I mean this you bought for the flea market, right? Yeah, that's. This is out of everything so far. This is this is the one absolute piece for the flea market, and this is iffy. Because you said the opal one, you said is got to be eBay, right? Yeah, that has so to be. So out of everything we've watched so far, only this is for the flea market. Well, and no, the, now the rest of this. Uh, well, no, I thought this was a designer. This is La Rage. Or you, La Rage. you should look up La Rage. Is that how's it spelled? Right there. Uh, L A R A G E. Maybe it's La Rage. You know. And but whatever, we'll look it up. It's probably for flea market. It's just an odd piece. Yeah, it's kind of cool. And it's just the color is. Uh, it's got rinds, this crystals, ivory whatever. Ivory or creamy yeah. white. But it's, it was a throw-in, probably. Um, okay, this, this one you think is for the flea market, and this is Monet. This is Monet. I mean, no, I could probably I could put that on mine too. Okay, if you put it on like. It's like, like a, a. In your mind, you paid uh, what for this? Like ten bucks. It's just sliding all over. This is like well, the worst. Well, just hold it. That's. Yeah. Um, it's a triple strand. Yeah. That's um, nice, heavy, yeah. looks cool. Yeah. And so you and paid then, ten for that? I paid forty for five necklaces. Okay, whatever. So uh if it's worth so there if this is worth thirty bucks online, you gonna put it online? Yes. Because okay. I won't get that at the flea market. No, we'll get like twelve. Now this one I got also, um, it's marked nine two five on the uh class. Yeah, on the So it's sterling silver. Right. Uh, the weirdest thing about this that we find unusual is it's strung uh, by string? I think I got it. No, it definitely is. I just looked at it. It's 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 string strung. It is right. I just did this. Yeah. That's a string. Okay. What do you think you're gonna get for that? Oh, I don't know. Seventy-five. Maybe fifty yeah. to seventy. Fifty to seventy-five. It'll pay for everything. Okay, that's the jewelry. I'm gonna give you this bag. And, you can, and I'll put all the jewelry, or you want to, you, no, leave the sandwich bag in the car, because I get them in the house. Oh, this one. No, just, you put it in the plastic bag. Oh, my bag. God. you need the sandwich bags tomorrow. And then if I, when I forget to bring the sandwich bags, and you don't remind me to bring it, then you'll be like. Mother. No, but you the one that needs the sandwich bags. I don't need it. I don't put nothing in sandwich bags except for games occasionally. Oh, so then you don't DS. put nothing in sandwich bags. I said except for games occasionally. Well, then don't say nothing. Except for games occasionally. I'm leaving. Nothing except for um, games occasionally. Audi. Yeah, 90% time I put it on. Okay. I'm just going to do my CDs. Are the car running? Yeah, leave it on. I'll just You'll remember to turn it off? No, I'll never remember that. Just leave, get, get out of here. I need my key to go in the house. Then take your key and I'll be fine. Oh, wait. Take my key, all right? 
I'm not, the reason I'm doing this all in one video is because I don't want to edit it. Because <laughs> it takes long to edit. And this I could just put on YouTube unedited. So, sorry guys. Alright, I paid a buck a piece for a CDs. Oh, here, let me show you something. What I did in case they wanted to look through the CDs. I'm a sneaky motherfucker. What? What? It's signed. To Nikki Harris, a super... La Parascoper Mitch Miller. What does that say? La Parascaper? Uh, Dar I'm giving it to Daryl. It's signed by Mitch Miller. Remember Mitch Miller? Didn't he have some kind of weird band or something? Orchestra or something? I gave you my keys, right? Yes. Okay. I'm leaving. Goodbye. There's no traffic. I can get out of Go the for car. it. All right. Cars. All of this stuff. I already looked at the bas back of the disc. Flea market. There's nothing here for Amazon. That's probably why everybody left it. Because most people are only in interested in Amazon uh, for CDs. Because, so as, because I sell at flea markets, I can sell the stuff at flea markets. The cars. Um, Bob Marley. Bob Marley. Uh, the band. Squeeze. I kind of want to listen to this one. Uh, Who by Numbers. This is the other Mitch Miller one. This was also signed. To Dr. Mickey Harris. Much Gratitude. Mitch Miller. With Gratitude. Mitch Miller. Alright. Alright. So that that's for you, Daryl. I don't know what they're worth. You know, they're probably worth like 20 bucks a piece. The one good thing about this this uh, estate sale... I mean, because everything else was bad. The waiting online. Everybody's like bitching, complaining the whole time. Like, oh, I just want to find out how much this one thing is. You know? And then also they did that thing where they make you take off your shoes... Uh, so you have to walk around. They give you booties. I'm like, screw that crap. I just put on, I just took off my shoes and I walked around in socks because, you know, they have nice floors and I understand it, but, you know, it's, it's annoying as hell uh, to have to do that too. And then, you know, you have to put your shoes on. Like, it took me a couple of minutes to put my shoes on after I'd done it. All right, rambling. Let it be. But what I was going to say, the one good thing is they had some good CDs. Nobody had bought any. Bruce Springsteen, Meatloaf, and Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Normally, I won't buy Elton John, but I did with this one because it's uh, his early Elton John when he, he was rocking. George Harrison, All Things Must Pass. I think this is a better CD. Um, you know, one that's worth more than a few dollars. Uh, it's Hard, The Who, um, uh, The Allman Brothers Band, Eric Clapton, um, Pete Townsend, The Moody Blues, uh, B-52s. That's a fun one. This will have Rock Lobster on it. Yeah. There's a moon in the sky. That's how that guy Fred, what's his name, sang. He'd go, this is how I sing a song. Everybody dance and sing along. He sang like that. Eric Clapton, uh, Talking Heads, Leonard Skinner. And that's all I bought today. Uh, and it was $73. And I'll tell you how, how ridiculous they are where I am, right? When it comes to pricing and if they'll give you a discount or a break. They had a stupid wicker basket, right? And and I they didn't have anything for me to carry all the CDs in when I was going up there. Oh, this this I'll show in a second. Uh, I you know what? They had a bunch of billboard. So anyway, let me just finish. They had a stupid wicker basket, and I bring it to the front, and I was like, "Look, I don't really care about the wicker basket. If you throw it in with all the CDs I'm buying, I'll take it. But I don't want to buy it. The only reason I took it here to you in the front." is because I had nothing to carry the CDs in and there's a long line and I just didn't want to drop them all over the place. Um, and they're like, well, we'll give you the wicker basket for an extra $3. And I'm like, well, then I don't want it because I didn't even want it to begin with. But I, I said, I just was asking you about it because I really didn't want to have to take all the CDs out and put them in a bag again. And I didn't think it's a big deal since I'm buying $73 worth of CDs. I had exactly 73 CDs and they did not give me a discount of $3. Uh, and they didn't just say take the freaking basket because it's a stupid basket. Who gives a crap? Anyway, um, they had these billboard CDs and they have about 10 of them. So, and they were all consecutive. Like, I think it starts at 75 and it goes 76, uh, 83, 84. And then I have the other one somewhere, you know. So, but here, Jimmy Hendrix Experience, that's definitely a flea market CD. Um, Bruce Springsteen, Bruce Springsteen, born in the USA. Here's some more of the billboard ones. Um, like I said, they were all consecutive. Uh, 80, uh, 79, 81, 82. So I guess it went from like 75 to 83. Bob Dylan. I've had this one all the time. That is a flea market CD. 
Beach Boys, everybody loves the Beach Boys. Beatles. And the funny thing, everybody thinks, oh, the Beatles, those are good CDs. Those are worth a lot of money, but they're not. Um, they might be worth 7 or $8, right? But it's it would be ridiculous for me to list a CD that I can get at least $3 for at a flea market for $8 on eBay because shipping's going to be at least $3. Now I'm already down to like 5 and then eBay fees kills that and then I gotta wait to sell it and then the guy could be like oh, the CD skipped and it's too much trouble uh, 1977 1978 yes yeah, so I guess it started from 1973 um, I'm trying to do this quick uh, so I know some people like to see the CDs that I got I know other people don't care uh, Green Day pretty cool always sells here's a, a Paul McCartney double disc wingspan uh, the police uh, Springsteen again, ton of love. I like Springsteen. I'll always buy Springsteen, and uh, every, a lot of people. He's like a working man um, band uh, uh, singer. Bruce Springsteen, Born to Run. That's a classic. And then another Beatles, Abbey Road. As you see, the only ones now, and with with the billboards, the only reason I bought those is because it was a consecutive run. If it had been like missing some in the middle, I probably would not have bought them, um, because they're they're annoying to sell at the flea markets. Uh, but on eBay, I can probably lot say I say I have ten there. I'll probably try and lot them for no less than fifty for the ten, and maybe as much as seventy-five. Prince Graffiti Bridge in excess. The Pretenders. You know, this is good, solid, uh, say, 70s to 90s rock. Springsteen again. And uh, Lonely Heart Club's band, The Beatles. Let's keep going. Yeah, normally I don't get, uh, like, Beatles. Normally I don't get my paws on Beatles because everybody's like, Oh, the Beatles, they sell, they're worth a lot of money. But they're not. Magical Mystery Tour. I actually prefer 70s Beatles. Lou Reed. Then um, The Kids Are Right, The Who. Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band. I actually prefer 70s Beatles to 60s Beatles. They were too pop, you know, too... They were like like boy band, all like peppy happy. I like them more like they're a little more jaded and they're looking at the world from like uh, a, like uh, an acid trip <laughs> from the perspective of while they're high on acid and trying to see the beauty and, and, and you know, uh, everything. From... Uh, it's Eric Clapton. Crosby, Stills, and Nash, Bruce Springsteen, Talking Heads, an excellent band for you young kids who may not uh, be familiar with them. Beatles again, Rubber Soul. I mean, it's like you can run through um, anything Beatles and pretty much almost everything. Uh, like pr I would say almost every title in here I've heard, you know, and it's the same with most kids. Eric Clapton again, this one with B.B. King. You know, now if I had been at a regular sale... They might have, I mean, geez, they might have said, at least they'd go Talking Heads again. They might have said to me, yeah, I'll go 70, and you can have that stupid basket, you know. But that's how estates, people, I try to explain to people how estate sales are. Um, I got a couple, I got a Doors. I'll put that to the side. I don't know if you have that one. Um, Nas, if you're watching this. Uh, Best of Joe Walsh. Peter Gabriel. I like Peter Gabriel a lot. Um, uh, speaking of, of Nas, uh, and that one... Door CD there. I actually got some cassettes. And the cassettes they gave to me cheap. Um, Quadrophenia. The Who. Oh, and then I got the Beatles Anthology. I could probably put these three on eBay. And I might as a lot. Because I got Beatles Anthology 1, 2. Uh, well, that's 3. Uh, 3, 2. and But the one is in here. Here it is. And I actually had to look for these CDs. And there's one. I'm if I can put these on a lot for like thirty dollars, I'll do it. But if I can only put them on a lot for twenty dollars, nope. You know because then shipping alone on these will be like seven bucks. Um, if I ship them flat rate, because I'm not gonna ship crap media mail. Media mail is like forget it. You know people get pissed off at you when you uh, ship stuff media mail. Um, I don't know. And then sometimes they'll even check media mail. It's like, it's just not worth it. Media mail is, if I, if I were shipping like 100 DVDs, I'd ship it media mail. But anyway, Chuck Berry, uh, Pink Floyd, wish you were here. I'm almost done. Mamas and the Papas, Janis Joplin. And, and now this is the other thing. I don't know if you have these cassettes already. 
but I'm just going to put this aside. I have a Doors book for you. So here, uh, Alive, She Cried. I know, I, that one's, uh, I'm unfamiliar with that one. That could be an interesting one for you, for your collection. That's not one I, I see normally. And, and then this is The Doors Greatest Hits, and that's one I see all the time. And then the last thing I got... I got four of these. They're not metal, um, but he actually charged me a dollar for all the six cassettes. Because what I did was I put these on top. I said, I got six cassettes, right? So he says, uh, I, and then he looked at the cassettes before I said anything. He said, I'll just charge you a dollar for those cassettes. So I said, listen, I got six cassettes. He says, I don't care. I'll charge you a dollar for the six cassettes. So I didn't really pay anything for those. You know, I was willing to pay a dollar. I was actually willing to pay like a dollar a piece on the cassettes because, you know, I thought maybe if you want them, Naz, that's fine, right? Um, normally, I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't even bought them. They had other cassettes there. I just I can't deal with cassettes now. I want to save my money for better stuff, you know? I don't want to buy stuff that it's worth $2, $3, and, and it's hard to sell. I mean, it's not hard to sell because maybe you want it, Naz, but if you don't want it, then it's hard to sell. You know, I have to put it on eBay. I don't want to put anything on eBay anymore. I, got too, I already got too much stuff to go on eBay. So I've got four of these. I wish they were metal. They are not. But whatever. Um, okay, quick shout-outs to... This video is already 20 minutes long, so I'm going to do my live hunting pickup on the Scummy Resellers. Um, quick shout-outs. Uh, Nas, Nostalgic, AJ, SAP Zong, Video Gamer Daryl, uh, Chase after the rice price. <sighs> Treasure Hunter 28? Is that it? Tre something like that? I want to give you a shout out. I like your videos. Uh, is it Treasure Hunter 28? Maybe. You know, if I mess it up, I'll, I'll get it eventually. Uh, picking for treasures for uh, Sherman, living a good life. My other YouTube channel, you know, uh, I'd, I'd appreciate if you were subscribed to that already. Uh, scummy resellers. I, it's annoying. I had 50 subscribers, now I got 49. Whoever just left, you know, I don't care, whatever. You can leave, it's no big deal. But, um, oh, let's see. Who did I leave out? Uh, Blue Bus Dave. You know, that's it for now. I'll get everybody else next time. I, I think I did all uh, enough for now. All right, bye. Oh, wait. Um, Sunday, if you want to come find me, I'll be... Uh, I like this. The, this one guy used to say, if you want an ass kicking, I'll be at Ker Kearney. So <laughs> on Sunday, if you want to find me and you want an ass kicking, come find me at Kearney. <laughs> Goodbye. Thumbs up.